Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Mathematical Toolbox. Today, we've got another book on real analysis. This is Real Variables with Basic Metric Space Topology by Robert B. Ash. So this one here is going to be readable to pretty much anyone that wants to learn analysis. You don't necessarily need an introduction to mathematical proofs course or an introduction to discrete math or a discrete math course, rather. You really don't need that here with this book. It would help quite a bit, but you don't necessarily need it. Now, one of the things that, there's several things that make this book stand out, right? That's one of them. Uh, second thing here, we actually have full solutions, beginning to end solutions, not just a hint. And uh, the third thing, and I don't remember exactly where the author says this, but the entire purpose of the author writing this book is to prepare the reader for further work and analysis, right? And probability, functional analysis, measure theory, that kind of stuff, right? So you can tell by the, the amount of emphasis placed here as we see further topological results there at the end we got some basic topological properties of rp a lot of this stuff here in some books is pushed towards a towards the end of the chapters like an optional section or towards the end of a problem set as an optional uh, problem or, or exercise not the case here it's definitely part of the main text definitely required here so this book everything in here you can't skip anything if you're interested in stuff like measure theory functional analysis and you want to learn it quote unquote right way can't skip any of this stuff in here from beginning to end 100 percent of this you're going to need it you're going to see it at some point right so again just giving you 100 percent beginning to end zero to 100 right of analysis got basic terminology here uncountably infinite sets distance metrics convergence got some topological properties what else we got here? Upper, lower limits of sequences of real numbers, continuous functions, differentiation, riemann steeltis integration. By the way, if you do want to try and stop, right, you can do so right here, but you're going to be missing out on uh, these uh, two or three chapters here. But if you do want an absolute bare bones introduction to real analysis, you can stop right here. And uh, I don't think it'll get much shorter than that. It's about 115 pages worth of real analysis. I don't think you're going to get any shorter than that. But you're, again, you're going to miss out uniform convergence and applications. And this is, as we'll see later on, point-wise and universe, uniform convergence. I think this is just of uh, functions, sequences of functions, not necessarily of um, sequences and things like that, right? Yeah, this is just of functions, right? So you can kind of skip that if you want to. I don't recommend it, but you can. We've got further topological results and uh, the epilogue there. And we've got solutions. That's the third thing here. So those three things stand out to me the most. And again, if you're a scientist and engineer, you need some analysis or maybe... Uh, you've been looking for a book to learn analysis on, you can try the Binmore book. But if you are interested in taking that next step, the Binmore book will definitely set you up. But this one will will definitely get you there 100%, right? The Binmore leaves a lot of the topology stuff. Like, it's not necessarily even a topology topic, but like metric spaces, for instance, not really discussed as explicitly as we would like right it's kind of pushed at the end of a chapter at the end of a problem set of a chapter actually but not the case here right very blatantly discussed here so let's get let's get started here chapter one introduction this is basic terminology we got a little bit of an introduction to some set theory here more set, more set theory stuff here and then we got finite infinite sets countably uncountably infinite sets problems sections here at the or problem sets at the end of each section, right? Sections are relatively short. I like that kind of stuff. I really hate when you have to travel 100 pages in a book to get to, to the problem sets. Really hate that kind of stuff. Really just bugs me. Got 1.3 distance and convergence. So right already on page 10, talking about the distance and metric, right? So it's pretty cool stuff. That's what I like to see. Basic mini course or mini course in basic logic, rather truth tables here, different types of proof methods as we can see as well. So anybody that wants to learn this, this, this subject of real analysis can do so with this book, scientist, engineer, math majors, for sure. Uh, unlike with the Binmore book, I can definitely give this, this book a, a blanket recommendation to anyone and everyone. Uh, it doesn't necessarily start off in first principles, like something like Tiles of Real Analysis would, but I think it goes over enough actual analysis and, and even some topology stuff, right? Like we've talked about that, that I think it's okay. I, I really wouldn't feel good about that with like the Binmore book, for instance, to a pure math major, uh, just because I think it's a little bit on the easier side. And I think this one gets into a little bit more serious math and goes about it in a more serious way. Right. So we've got these review chapter re review problems at the end of each chapter. And fortunately for us, we have 
solutions to even these, right? A lot of books will give you one problem set where we get full solutions and then the second problem set, no solutions. Not the case here, we've got full solutions for both, right? And then some basic topological properties of RP. You can check this out if you want to, but I'm just gonna skip to the, to towards the end of the book here. One of the last chapters, I think chapter six here, Riemann steel disintegration. So this is one of the parts that I thought was uh, very weak in the Benmore book. The Benmore book, so he never even makes a mention of the lower Riemann or Darbo sum, whatever you want to call it, until halfway through the chapter. And even then, he just tells you of, exi if, of its existence. He doesn't actually uh, construct the lower Darbo sum for you, which is absolutely ridiculous, right? Now, if it's your first exposure to the subject, you, you might think that it's okay, but it's really not okay, right? And pretty much every other book, you'll get that there are two sums, right? This is what we see here. The upper sum is right here and the lower sum is right here, right? And the, the Riemann Asciltus sum is this. Now, I haven't read this book cover to cover or anything like that. And I probably won't because I've pretty much already completed my time with analysis, but what I can think as being problematic is introducing the Riemann Steeltis integral first versus the just regular Riemann integral. Uh, but that might vary. And this, quite honestly, it does kind of look straightforward, but it might be problematic for some, right? I don't think it's more problematic than what Benmore did, though. That is just abhorrent and it's kind of inexcusable, I would say. But let's move on here. You can see what chapter seven reads like just a little bit and then we'll just close out the video because I'm pretty much done with what I have to say about this book. So I plan on starting a couple of new playlists here. So one is going to be on uh, basically starting a library on a budget. And let's be honest, most of those are going to be Dover books. Not that they're bad, but let's be honest, some of them can kind of read in a not so pleasant way, but uh, that's going to be one my favorite Dover books and then or starting a library on a budget. And the second one's going to be my favorite Dover books, right? This is going to be my favorite Dover book on real analysis, right? So I'm going to be finding a, a book pretty much on every single topic, right? That, that Dover offers books for, right? So this is going to be the one for real analysis and we've got plenty of other books to go over, right? So, We'll get we'll get through through every subject at some point, but this is gonna be the first one here. I don't know if I mentioned it already, but Robert B. Ash, he has a ton of other really good books on real analysis, probability, measure theory, that kind of stuff. So he has kind of like three books that go over the same stuff. From my understanding right now, his his most I don't want I don't want to say necessarily comprehensive, but Again, there's quite a bit of overlap on his three books on measure theory, real analysis, functional analysis, that kind of stuff. So the second edition of the book called Probability and Measure, I think, that one pretty much is the most recent, quote unquote, or up-to-date book that goes over all of the stuff, right? So it's going to take you from zero to 100, from probability spaces to stochastic integration, right? Ito integrals, that kind of stuff, right? So, and from what I can see, from what I can tell, I don't own the book yet, but from what I can tell, it does appear to be more on the readable side for that subject, right? Now, I actually was about to forget, and every single time I try to film this video, I've forgotten, but one thing that, that you might not like about Robert's writing style is or Mr. Ash or Dr. Ash or whatever, right? One thing you might not like about his writing style is that he does have a tendency for walls of text, right? Like we see here, just got, got kind of like a couple of walls of text here where we got a paragraph and a wall of text. And if you flip to pretty much any page, you'll see a wall of text, unfortunately, right? So that, that might be something that'll turn off some people 100%. It reminds me of the Jacobson book on basic algebra. Uh, by the way, there's an absolutely hilarious review on on Amazon for that book about some some grandpa that bought that book for his kid because his kid needed some help with like elementary or middle school algebra, and he got he legit got his kid a graduate level book on abstract algebra, but that's the difference between elementary and basic, right? 
Uh, but regardless, that was a little bit of a tangent. So Jacobson does the same thing in his book, right? You're going to have like an entire wall of text, whereas some some of these, some of the content in here could could have been given its own line, right? So this kind of stuff here, just the layout, the format of the pages and uh, the layout and the format of his writing style, you might not care for it very much and fair enough, but the one thing I'll say about about this kind of stuff here is if you want like an actual 100% premium book, you're going to have to pay the premium price, right? And I don't mean that in any negative way to to uh, Dr. Ash or Professor Ash at all, 100% no. But like for me personally, I went through a really hard time with early on with like trying to buy a Dover book. And then me not liking it. So then I just ended up having to get the original book that I wanted that I just didn't want to spend the money on. So if, if you want like a more modern, up-to-date book, in terms of the writing style, you're going to have to pay modern prices for that, right? And you're going to be looking at upwards of like $60, $80, unfortunately. Just unfortunately, again, the way the world that we live in, right? But anyone that's tasked with reading this book can do so, no problem. If you are on a budget, even if you're not on a budget, right? If you wanna to, to have maybe, I don't wanna say necessarily easier time because analysis is kind of never easy to be honest with you. Even reviewing it is not easy. And I know because I just reviewed it recently and, and I had a hard time. Uh, but if, if you are interested in in learning the subject, you can do so with this book and, and you won't break the bank, right? It's just like, I think I got this for like $12. So it's 100% a decent investment even a different decent reference, right? We've got the solutions that'll help a lot. So this is a solid book, guys. Hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoyed this book. Hope you enjoyed this author. I definitely want to get into like doing author reviews or maybe like an introduction to like blank author, right? And uh, yeah, again, this author's got quite a few books and he's got one, he's got several other ones that are published by Dover also. He's got one probability. Not really sure how that one reads. I've had it for a while and it kind of just never caught my attention. He's got other ones on uh, complex variables and he's got some like another one on like statistical inference and stuff like that. So this guy's is, guy's is the real deal. If you're interested in analysis and probability, like I think most of us are here, might want to check out Robert B. Ash. Again, his other books also have full solutions as well. But that'll do it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know it kind of dragged on a little bit, but hopefully some of you found found the discussion entertaining at least. See ya.